to kick away Wanye Thomas set deep. Fields it at about the three. And on the go, it is Gibbs. The aforementioned Jagir, Jameer Gibbs, who we said should see significant playing time. Unbelievable start for Jameer Gibbs. First time he touches the football at this level, and he almost takes it the distance. Looking, trying to get it to the field, but recognizes an opening back on the... 73-yard kickoff return, so prime position for Jeff Sims, and here he goes straight ahead inside the 10. First and goal as Sims takes it ahead, finally met by Richie Grant. Jackets. Really pretty simple, right? You see the ball goes into the running back's belly. He's trying to play it front side. The quarterback's reading the defensive end. He crashes. So as soon as he crashes, the quarterback's in one-on-one -on -one with the defender on the edge. And Sims, they will put up just a little bit of a shimmy. To watch just how fast they work. First game of the year for UCF. Gabriel. To cut to the outside to reach out for that line to make, but he was taken down by Caleb Oliver. And they're going to snap it on fourth and one. And Gabriel is going to slide down short of the 40 yard line. Gabriel takes it himself for the conversion. Play action on first down. Gabriel, plenty of time, taking a shot downfield and into the hands of Nixon. Big play, nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what, how about this throw going back just a couple plays ago? Big play receiver in Trey Nixon. A little bit messed up in coverage there defensively. Gabriel on the slant, and that is a touchdown into the hands of Trey Nixon. He set it all up with the 49-yarder. Man, just a great job there with the call. It's a player's first program for sure. Second and two, Sims dancing around and now looking to get to the edge, and he will do so for a first down. Heard Joe say it at the top of the show, the epicenter of college football. He said the vast majority of national championships have been won within five hours of Atlanta over the last 15 years, and there's no reason we can't be right there with him. Busted coverage defensively by UCF, and they take advantage for a big play. Now they'll feed him again, but this time there was nowhere to go. That was Kenny Turnier. They're down in five now. Sims going to dump it out of the backfield, and Jemias Griffin, here he goes. And it'll be first and goal again for the Yellow Jackets. Defense, you see number one on the left defensively for UCF. That's Eric Mitchell. He blitzes, and nobody is accounting for Griffin. Goal, there is Coco, top two tight ends out. Sims. Ball came out. And UCF recovers. Sims thought he had something. Next thing you know, ball's on the ground. We're going the other way. Aaron did a good roster, but man, he's put his own mark on it. Third and one, McCray trying to get leverage. And he's going to be right at that line to gain. And it's a first down for UCF. Gabriel. Chase back, twist, turns, and taken down at the six-yard line. That was Charlie Thomas with the sack. They're going to play a conservative here with McCray. He makes the most of it. Now to the 16-yard line. It was Thomas who met him. It was Thomas who had the big play here defensively. Camp going to have to win some one-on-ones against this man coverage. Sims as he was being pressured and then guns it to Ezzard. What we're seeing right now is Will. I think the mental side when you're a freshman is so critical. Everybody has physical gifts. As this time he gets it to Jack Coco. Jack Coco, who's the long snapper, who as Marty said before we kicked off. Bunch set to the bottom of their screen on third and seven. They pick up the pressure. Sims with time. And with it, Brown will have the first down. It's Georgia Tech. Fireworks early on from both teams, and Yellow Jackets riding away with Dante Smith are going to have it down just outside the 10-yard line. Have to have roster management. 
Third and nine. Sims with time. And too much to the corner of the end zone where Brown was trying to get to that corner. Kelly hit the 32-yard game-winning field goal. 27-yarder is blocked. Dead center. Third and six. Gabriel. And the lefty gets it over to Jalen Robinson, who makes an exceptional effort right on the sideline. A million passes. Quick game now in use, and it's Robinson again. As Gabriel gets it out, and Robinson streaks ahead. So many transitions in this program with the new coaching staff. And to the other side, once again, it's Trey Nixon. Trey Nixon with a good start to his day. That is the third catch already. What a difference. Third and short to third and six. Gabriel looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Marlon Williams. Man, this is such a long throw, but it gets there. And Marlon Williams does a great job. Sims on first down as he gets it to Gibbs. And here goes Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs lowers the shoulder at the end as well against Maxwell. And the Man. future's going to be bright, isn't this, it? This is big time, too. You see the all-out pressure. Nobody is going to cover Gibbs. All Sims has to do is just hang in there long enough. CF Georgia Tech. That's going to be down here on October 17th. Ball's out there. And it's great to hear that the Big Ten is going to put forth the COVID protocols and return to action. Third and five, Sims sprint left, extending the play, looking for an option, and has to float it out of bounds. Big 255-pound Presley Harvin to punt away. As he back rotates this, and it's another inside the 10 for the talented Harvin. Big Presley Harvin. Second and six, Gabriel. Pick up the pressure. He spins back to his own goal line and then heaves it down the near side. And it was very well done to get it to Marlon Williams out to the 35-yard line. And then tackled for a loss. That was Charlie Thomas who has been active in the UCF backfield. Velocity. Third and six. Empty look. Gabriel looking to run it himself. And he finds a seam and crosses midfield. Dylan Gabriel, the do-it-all for UCF. Baller. I don't know how else to describe it. The guy makes you miss in the open field. He's got a certain level of quickness. Anderson went for three yards after Gabriel, before our commercial break, went for 15. And here's the lefty on that comeback to Robinson again. That has been available to them this entire first half. That's a nice connection, Gabriel. That are easy completions for Gabriel. 24 yards there. Anderson can't find anything on the outside. Chico Bennett was waiting on him. They are right outside the red zone, knocking on the door. And 12, McCray catches a seam. Into the end zone, Greg McCray. Busted right through Derek Allen and UCF. The offense is revving. I want you to watch the action in the backfield. You're going to see pushers right here, but this is the problem. The linebacker at the second level loses the football. So as you look at it, Quez Jackson, he can't find it. He doesn't know where it is. He's unblocked, and it runs right inside. Of Dante Smith, he is wrapped up immediately. That was Cam Good in the backfield. Or else you're going to give it back to UCF with great field position and a ton of momentum. Third down and seven for Sims. Tried the crossing pattern to camp, but it is incomplete, and they will be punting away. Goodness. And where do you see that new stadium out there now? Of course, not going to have the fans as Thompson is wrapped up. Great pursuit by the entire front. Dominic was the first to get to him, and then Knight wrapped it up. I'm out there in Vegas earlier this year, and calling all the fight. Watch that thing rise up from the ground. They're going to have a football palace there in the desert. Downfield shot, and it is complete. And once again, it's Jalen Robinson. Why not? In great throw, first and foremost. But it's amazing. If you look at how the secondary is positioned for Georgia Tech, 
It's almost as if their entire plan is to don't let them get over the top. Look how soft in coverage they are defensively there is Johnson and just kind of slow plays it a little bit. So after the big catch by Robinson, back to business for Dylan Gabriel. Quarterback design run well blocked and another first down. And then the ball comes out and Georgia Tech comes up with it. The big play for Georgia Tech's defense. Ball's pretty high and tight. That's just a great job by Knight. Getting that right hand across Gabriel's body and swatting at the football. At least give your receiver a chance. So if anything, underthrow it. Sims pulls it. Sims. That'll be a chain mover for the Yellow Jackets. Second and ten. Sims in cut and gets it complete to Ezer. And now Georgia Tech with an opportunity here. Probably five or six throws. I'd take a shot over the top. Batted down, and it's intercepted. Selaskar right into his hands. A fumble recovery earlier, and now an interception for Selaskar. And look at number five, Charlton, on the right side of your screen, recognizing it's quick game, knowing he's not going to get there. So he drops back into coverage, gets his hands on the football, and how about Selaskar? Look what I found. And then on top of it all, how about the friendly fire there? Who tripped him up? Flag is down as Thompson gets the carry. And Greg, what a swing moment this could be. Third and one. As Thompson's going to be very close. There's a lot of chatter about this being a year of opportunity. National Championship trophy presented by Dr. Pepper. UCF to the end zone. And strike it again. Trey Nixon. If you look at, obviously, what's going on with the substitutions, they got extra guys on the field. But more importantly, even this, when you look at this defensive structure, I mean, you have press coverage with no over-the-top help on UCF's most dynamic wide receiver. Press coverage, no help over the top. That's automatic green light, strike up the fight song if you're a quarterback. Nolani, Hawaii is where he comes from. Sims, after the interception moments ago, he's going to tuck and run here. Oh, and he takes a huge hit from Richie Grant. And the flag comes in. Boom. Well, okay, I mean, clearly to the head or neck area. And there's the thing, too. You have to determine, is the runner defenseless? All right, so at this point... Doesn't look like he's trying to make a slide, so therefore he loses the, the cloak of protection. Because guys are still being protected and they're still being taken care of, but they're not getting wrongfully ejected. Second and ten, Sims. This time he is able to connect, as he does so with P.J. Harris. Sims finds something before the half. He wants more than just a first down as he was looking to Adonicus Sanders. Fourth down and three. Trailing by 21 at home in the first half. And he's going to get it to Camp, and Camp is going to have a first and goal opportunity for the Yellow Jackets. Got to keep that schedule intact. Here they are in third and goal. Sims with time, and with the score is Gibbs. Got some confidence, moved in the pocket nicely on that drive, ran in the open field. Anderson. And he kept his balance and gets a little more before he is ripped down by Thomas. It's a great cut by Anderson. See if they can't get a big play. Anderson, nothing happening on the left side. Yeah, that might be it. That clock is going to run down. Gabriel has been extremely decisive, which he loves. As he connects here with Harris, who gets it just inside the 40. What did you make of going for the bunt onside kick? See if this Georgia Tech defense can come up with a stop here. Okay. Try the onside kick to open up this second half. Gabriel's going to check down to Anderson, who's able to turn the corner. And Anderson will get a chunk of that back. Anderson in the backfield with Gabriel. 
They bring a little pressure on Gabriel, and he's able to get it out to Robinson, but it falls short and incomplete. It'll be a turnover on downs. Score. But moments ago, a stop and a turnover on downs. Ball comes loose there, but fortunately, Griffin was right on top of it. Now they're saying there's a fight for it, and Charlton claims it's going to be the Knights' ball. Let's see. I think it might be. Boy, this could be costly. And it is turnover, and this is just ball handling. Right there, Sims not knowing whether or not he should leave it in the running back's stomach or pull it. So hard to get off the field, and now a first down for Gabriel. And it's intercepted. Gabriel. That was Ron Ye Thomas. So back and forth we go. Job of applying pressure to the quarterback's throwing arm. Field was that it was a fumble. Smith, third and forever. Gets back to the 18. Night of football still ahead. Thompson shakes free, and Thompson weaves his way for a UCF first down. Money down, the way they like to call it. Will they cash in on third and 13? Anderson taken down at the 28-yard line by Knight. See if he can turn one over and drive this downfield. Ezard is back deep. It's a wobbler knuckler. And it is fair caught at the 24-yard line. You got Ohio State week one. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> going to be tough. Yeah. Welcome back to football. Now, here's Ohio State. <laughs> and here is Gibbs who gets the corner. And you can see the burst that Gibbs has. Gibbs was a phenom at Dalton High School last year. You can't leave now. You can't I can't the leave. Nobody go away. McElroy's got a quote. Trying to get away from a TFL, and he does. And then finally, it's Collier. All right, what did Coach Collins say? Two Sims with her first down and unable to find it as he was trying to connect with a Marion Brown. It's Harbin. Tries to pin him. And Anderson right back to flank Gabriel. Took his time, patiently found the hole. Ball came out at the end there. As Georgia Tech is pleading for the turnover. Third down and six. And it's going to be a first down, and Marlon Williams out past midfield. Three man rush, and with that, they're going to dump it down to Anderson. And Carpenter was tracking defensively. Man coverage to the top. Fourth and five, looking for something. Pressure on him, and it's incomplete. His only option was Williams. Upset there. Dante Smith. He's able to find something, then keep his balance for a little extra as he gets to the 40-yard line. A press coverage man on the outside of the top. Third and two. Instead, they keep it on the ground, and they will have that first down from the freshman, Jameer Gibbs, as Richie Grant wrestles him to the sideline. It's on the field. I agree with this call. Fourth down and nine. Can they stay alive here on this drive? Sims pressured, spins free, looking to tuck, and he's going to come up well short. As a flag comes down late, Hancock and Woodson able to corral Jeff Sims. Let's check on the flag. Makes a guy miss, you got a fresh set of downs. Just got to keep your eyes downfield when you break the pocket. Otis Anderson tackled in the backfield. That was a good surge again by Charlie Thomas. Third and 17. Just keep it with Anderson. Final moments here of this third quarter. Number 14, UCF up 14. Start of the fourth quarter. Osteen punting away for UCF. Hazard with the fair cat. It's been really interesting to watch the plan and the cat and mouse game going on between UCF's offense and Georgia Tech's defense. And now it's Sims in this offense that needs to find a rhythm, and he's going to have a first down completion to Malachi Carter. <laughs> I love it. Third and seven, Gibbs. Can Gibbs get there? He can. Jameer Gibbs, the freshman running back, showing that spark in a first down for the yellow. Now, 
First down, he's going to get after it again. And look at the speed and the spark and the score from Gibbs. Just what Georgia Tech needed. Thanks to the freshman Gibbs. Defense, he wasn't to be outdone. Gabriel, quickly to the outside to Williams. Let's go to the studio to Kevin. Second and ten. Gabriel with time. Wants it again, but this time he gets it to Williams. As he got past Carpenter, Marlon Williams. They got pressure and they run against it as Anderson finds a seam, gets to the outside, turns it on and is inside the 10. It'll be first and goal nights. Or they might go with that zone read, that bunch formation. Look at this tempo. Lowering the shoulder and he's in. They snap that with 35 on the play clock. Right at you, machine gun style. Snap after snap, and right down the field they come. As they can play man to man, comfortable playing man to man. That's a good group in the back end for UCF. Second and five, and Griffin has a big hole. Jamias Griffin, the former Gatorade Player of the Year in Georgia. First meeting of ranked teams this year. Sims on second and ten, and that never had a chance. Eric Gilliard was waiting on him. He is right here. Let's see if he maybe motions back. We'll keep him out there. He's looking his way. And crossing pattern and looking for a flag, but not finding one that time. No P.I. and now this. Sims steps forward. Tux has to get there, but he's ridden out. Well done by Corey Thornton, the freshman corner. Thank you, Marty. Look, it's, it's tough. Week one is tough on quarterbacks, so to be expected. What's not tough is when you look at the stat line as he's able to get it here and connect again with Williams. Rear high. Third and two. Thompson. As he spins ahead, and we'll have the first down for the Knights, and we will be going under eight minutes. Play clock counting down, six and a half minutes to play. Gabriel with time. Oh, what a great effort that time from Williams. He tracked that ball, went up, got his hands over the defender, Wesley Walker, and hauled it in. Marlon Williams. I'll tell you what, man. He has stepped up. Second and goal. Looking for the quick throw to the corner, and he's got it. So Williams put him in position and then gets the payoff. Just a great job. You see the inside leverage of the defender. Gabriel knows exactly where his outbreaking route is. We've seen what De'Ara King can offer up in that one tonight. Sims being pressured, and oh, what an effort that time. A top tier. Big time. And now just the dump off inside the 10 goes Hescock, the tight end. Best or third best league in college football right now. We got style points here to close out this fourth quarter. And adding on to those style points is Thompson, Bentavious Thompson. And the breakout 2017, undefeated regular season 2018. Crossing along the middle is P.J. Harris. Monte Smith able to keep his balance and tries to dive ahead. Ball came out at the end there. And I believe UCF has it, and they do. And that will be closing things out as Lester jumps on it. And a ball getting a little loose. Just kind of the way things have gone here in the second half for Georgia Tech. Daryl Mack opted out, opted out for the season. Many players have this year. I think those who have stuck around are getting a heck of a reward. And as Damari is good. Johnny Richardson, a 5'7 freshman from Lake Wales, Florida, coming in and getting some time here. A lot like Otis Anderson with his versatility. 
And that'll finish things. And for UCF, their fifth straight opening season win. 13 of their last 15, they've had a season opening win.